the most important relaunch of 1973. The new Harmony Hairspray and Relaunch, introduced by Biggles. difficult problems about flying open planes like this on life or death missions across enemy territory is keeping your hair in place. And that's why we at number 18 RAF Hairspray Squadron always carry one of these little chaps around with us. But you can't just go straight up with one of these, you know. You've got to know where you're going, what you're doing, and who the enemy are. So that when that Silver Grin 447 comes at you out of the sun, you don't shoot till you see the shine of her hair. But above all, you've got to get your timing right. That's why I've asked a lot one of these strategic masterminds, a number seven marketing wing, ex-member of the Luftwaffe and a lifelong user of Harmony Hairspray, my old flying chum, ex-squadron leader, now nurse, Alan Price. <laughs> That was Alan Price. Now let's see how he did. Alan Price for Scotland with marketing strategy and objectives. We'll see how he does later on with the Mambo. A good sense of style and rhythm, a fantastic feel for timing, a particularly lovely pincer movement, and Alan made the suit entirely himself. Bally good show. Now, in the dark days of 42, we were really up against it. But chaps in my squadron, were reduced to keeping their hair in place with low-grade engine oil. Got your fingers all greasy, headsets kept slipping off, and, well, frankly, the chaps wouldn't look at you in the mess. Which is why we were so badly pleased when the boffins came up with New Harmony hairspray. So now, one of the top tacticians of New Harmony, the chap who drew up the specifications of the bouncing hairspray which demolished the German hairdressers, Nurse, now Chief Test Pilot, Dennis Kersleg, and he's going to put it in a nutshell. All the Southwest in matching suit and toupee. Take it away, Maestro. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Dennis. I'll see you for a glass of hairspray later on. Well, now I'd like to introduce to you a couple of old comrades in arms of mine, two old flying chums, Ginger. Hello, I'm Ginger. And Algy. Hello, I'm Ginger too. No, no, sorry, I'm Algy. Sorry, people. Ginger? Oh, me! Ah, ah, thank you. Look, this new silver ingredient is really terrific stuff. Take a look at this. At the RAF laboratories at Farnborough, we tried a series of tests. We sprayed one side with new Harmony hairspray and the other side with low-grade engine oil. We found that for brushing out and for giving a softer feel for the natural look, low-grade engine oil was much better. So we tried the test again using ordinary hairspray. This time, Harmony was much better. The ordinary hairspray leaves algae hard and brittle. What a waste of 15 years' growth. But look at this side. Clear and gentle, and looks so natural. Spiffy! Well, the backroom boys have given us all the gen, but how to get it over to the chaps? Well, this was where Mike Taylor came in, a chap who'd worked on the deadly SR toothpaste and the crack deodorant shawl which had kept our troops smelling quite lovely during the dark years. And here he is, a brand manager, an ex-wren, though never a nurse, Mike Taylor. That girl's wearing... No, she's not. She is, you know. No, she's not. I bet you she is. Told you. Mm -hmm. Low-grade engine oil or really greasy hair. She's wearing new Harmony hairspray. Go on, you're always saying that. She is, you know. She's not wearing hairspray. Now it's even harder to tell, because new Harmony looks and feels even more natural. Excuse me. Told you. Oh, a bitch. Now there's a new Harmony hairspray for your hair. 
Ah, fairly good, sir. Uh, well, we were hoping to get Shirley Bassey as our next speaker, but um, Air Commodore Humble said we couldn't afford it. So instead, uh, a big round of applause, please, for a, a performer with bags of personality, bags of style, the man responsible for getting Harmony into the nappy, uh, not, not Shirley Bassey, but uh, Barry Fiend. Field. Field. Sorry, Barry. Barry Field. Not Field. Thank you, Barry. Like the cut of your jib. Well, here are the scores at the end of the competition. So, Alan Price well ahead. Uh, Dennis Kerslake, Mike Taylor and Shirley Bassey fail to score there. Not a drop, not a sausage. Absolutely bugger all. And I just heard that the bar's open. So, to all of you, it's goodbye from all of me here at Come Spring. And remember, if you enjoyed yourselves half as much as we have, then we've enjoyed ourselves twice as much as you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.